It's the fourth working day of the week and so many things have happened in the world of business and personal finance and we are going to discuss that in today's Money Time at Money 9. I'm your host Ajay and let's kick things off with a big update from the world of education. Now, if you're looking to enroll in reputed foreign universities, then you need to watch this very closely. UGC is mulling changes in the current regulatory norms to facilitate foreign universities to open campuses in India. Now, going back to 2020, this was envisaged by Prime Minister Narendra Modi at the time of announcing the national education policy. But now, it seems that the work has finally begun on the ground. And very soon, reputed universities like Oxford or Stanford can all open campuses here in India. Now, this will help in Indian students, students get education from world-class universities at an affordable cost. From education, we move on to the world of NBFC. Shares of Bajaj Finance were under huge selling pressure on Thursday. On BSC, the counter cracked more than 7% to close at 6,099 rupees apiece. So, what led to this fall exactly? The NBFC has revised downwards the growth rate of two of its metrics. It had earlier reported higher financials while announcing second quarter results of the financial year 2023. But on Thursday, it revised downwards growth rate of both AUM and loan book for the September quarter. Global brokerage CLSA had also said that despite underperformance in the last one year, the stock remains unjustifiably expensive. CLSA is bearish on the stock with target price of 6,000 rupees, while domestic brokerage Kotec Institutional Equities has also has a sell rating on the stock with a target price of 5,800 rupees. Let's see what fate has in store for this compounding machine. Up next, Telecom Minister Ashwini Vaishno has rung the alarm bells on debt-ridden Vodafone idea. Ashwini has said that it is a very complex issue that has to how much money the telco needs to raise. He said it was still not clear who would put so much money in his debt-laden company. Vodafone idea was reeling under debt burden of more than 2 lakh crore rupees. His comments are coming in at such a time when the government has said that it would it would to infuse capital in Vodafone at par value of 10 rupees per share. The government will then have a 33% stake in the company, after which promoters holding will come down to 50% from the current 74.99%. The government would infuse a total of 16,000 crore rupees, but is waiting for the stock price to stabilize. On Thursday, that is today, Vodafone script closed at 7.87 rupees per share. And moving on, Bibek Debroy, who is the chairman of Economic Advisory Council to Prime Minister Modi, has said that India's per capita income would rise to 8.27 lakh rupees in the next 25 years, with GDP at 20 trillion dollars. According to the Economic Survey of 2021, India's per capita income was at 1.28 lakh rupees. Although Debroy also said that India will be a transformed society by 2047 and added that in order to increase India's growth rate from 7% to 8%, the government needs to put a lot of work at the state level. This is because different states are at different levels of development and hence the source of growth will also be different. And sticking on with Debroy's comments, India may witness volatility in inflation, capital markets, forex markets and exchange rates in 2023. This can happen because of uncertainties around the world such as the Russia-Ukraine con conflict, growth prospects in Europe and the USA. Debroy said India is not insulated from these global problems and added that the GST system is complex. Both direct tax and GST needs to be simplified. Now, just days after CMI reported its India's December 2022 unemployment rate at 16-month high of 8.3%, the Labour Ministry has rubbished CMI's data, saying it was based on surveys conducted on methodologies that are generally neither scientific nor based on internationally accepted norms. CMI had reported that India's urban unemployment rate had increased to double digits of 10% in December 2022, while rural unemployment rate remained near about 7.5%. And some bad news if you are planning a trip to the United States. Now we all know how costly it is to travel to the United States. Now it's said to become even more costlier. The US government is mulling massive hikes in immigration fees it levies on different types of visas. 
fees of the much sought after H-1B visas may also increase massively. Apparently, the US government had not revised the fees since 2016 and this is the reason why the Biden government has raised this issue. The fees on different types of visas will increase by up to three times. The Biden government may make this, make this official after two months. And passenger vehicle sale has broken all its records. According to the Federation of Automobile Dealers Association or FADA, passenger vehicle sales in 2022 have broken all the records. A total of 34.3 lakh passenger vehicles were sold. This is 16% more than 2021. Talking about two-wheeler sale, FADA said total of 1.53 crore two-wheelers were sold in 2022. This was also higher than 2021. On the recent price increase by automobile companies, FADA President Manish Raj Singhania said, and I quote, with BS6 Phase 2 norms coming in, there will be more price hikes in the later part of the current calendar year. He has called upon auto companies to announce special schemes to keep retail sales momentum going up. And if you're living in Bhubaneswar, then you must watch this closely. You can now enjoy 5G services of both Airtel and Jio in the capital city of Odisha. You can now experience ultra-fast network and enjoy speeds up to 20 to 30 times faster than the current 4G speeds at no extra cost. Moreover, people living in the rural areas of Odisha will get better 4G connections. And the wait is finally over. Xiaomi has launched Redmi Note 12 series smartphones in India. The lowest variant in the series, that is the Redmi Note 12, starts at a price of 17,999 rupees. While the higher variant, the Redmi Note 12 Pro plus 5G, will come at 29,999 rupees. The smartphones go on sale from January 11. You can get a total discount of 4,000 rupees on each of these handsets. That's it for today on Money Time at Money9. Download the Money9 app and stay tuned to Money9 English's YouTube channel. This is me Ajay signing off and most importantly another information. Today's Money Time will go at 9pm and not 10pm. So take care. Good night.